Welcome, Internet Stranger, to the Catfish Tutorial. Overview. Catfish is an improvisational storytelling game which takes place over the course of a ridiculous dinner date. In Catfish, most players will play as a member of a group of nefarious cons, known simply as the Catfish. These players must fight tooth and nail in order to win the affection of the Patsy. One player will play as the Patsy. An overly trusting internet dater who accidentally stumbled upon catfishdating.com. Their role will be that of a moderator, acting coach, interrogator, and judge. In this dinner date of fictitious personalities and backstories, the catfish that impresses the Patsy the most will be chosen as the winner of the game, and the Patsy's heart, of course. The roles. The Patsy is the judge, jury, and executioner of the game. The Patsy's goal is to make the night as entertaining as possible and help to draw the most out of the catfish by making connections not only between themselves and the catfish, but from one catfish to another. The Patsy's responsibilities include getting the game started, calling on the catfish to speak, cutting them off if they're rambling too much, keeping the conversation flowing, calling out the catfish who step out of line, asking hard-hitting questions, making interesting connections, ending each stage and awarding points. Ultimately, the Patsy is looking for the best candidate to let into their heart, so they should always stay true to their looking for card. The player who plays as a Patsy does not necessarily have to make up a character, but it certainly helps. The Catfish are the competitors in this blood sport we call love. The role of the Catfish is much like an improvisational actor. They must craft their unbelievable backstories and hobbies into a story. The story of why they're the Patsy's perfect match. The ultimate goal of each Catfish is to weave all of the individual pieces of their backstory into a balanced and believable character that appeals to the Patsy's interests. It won't be easy because the Patsy and the other catfish will relentlessly try to poke holes in their stories and question their identity. The third wheel plays the role of a backup moderator, interrogator, and acting coach. They share all of the responsibilities of the Patsy, but ultimately they have less sway in the game. While they're not looking for love, they are there to help the Patsy with their tough decision and to make things a little more spicy, of course. The components. The claim deck. Claim cards are ridiculous lies that each catfish must use to build their persona. The Hobby Deck Hobby cards are bizarre interests that each catfish must use to bond with the Patsy and add upon their unbelievable backstory. The Looking For Deck What the Patsy is looking for in a mate. Each catfish must do their best to make sure their persona really matches these preferences. The Sabotage Deck Sabotage cards are devastating disruptions and incriminating evidence for each catfish to use against one another. The Ulterior Motive Deck the tantalizing reason that each catfish is targeting the Patsy in the first place. The Appeal Points The way that the Patsy expresses their affection for each of the catfish. The catfish with the most points at the end of the game wins. The Stages Setup Gather the decks and determine who will play what role. The Patsy flips the top card of the Looking For deck face up in front of them. Each catfish draws seven claim cards from the claim deck and seven hobby cards from the hobby deck. They must choose two from each pile to build the foundation of their character. While they know what the Patsy's first Looking For card is, they do not know what the second one will be. Each catfish draws a random ulterior motive card, peeks at it, and keeps it face down in front of them. They'll reveal this later in the game. These five cards will stay face down in front of them until the time comes to reveal them. Their time to brainstorm their character has begun. The Appetizer. The Patsy begins the game by introducing themselves to the Catfish. It is essential that they announce their Looking For card and explain why it's important to them and how it relates to their character. The player who plays as the Patsy doesn't necessarily have to come up with their own character and backstory, but it certainly helps. After the Patsy finishes their introduction, the catfish should each take turns introducing themselves by name. They must all flip up one of their face-down claim cards and one of their face-down hobby cards. They should fully incorporate each card into their backstory. Each catfish's goal should be to not only embellish their claim, but relate it to the Patsy's looking for card. The catfish should try to work their hobby card into their claim and use it to try to further impress and bond with the Patsy. As a general rule of thumb, whoever starts speaking first has the floor. Patsy may ask the catfish any questions they want about their first claim and hobby card. 
they'll have a chance to not only follow up on any interesting or strange tidbits that stood out from each catfish's story, but to delve deeper into their character and even foster conversation between the catfish. The catfish are also free to delve deeper into and even poke holes into the ridiculous backstories of their fellow cons. If the patsy is having trouble coming up with good questions to ask the catfish, they should simply reference the prompt pamphlet for some good conversation starters. When the patsy is satisfied grilling the catfish, they should distribute the appeal points according to how much they liked each of them. As a general rule of thumb, at least one of each appeal point should be used during each round. The main course. Each catfish draws a random sabotage card, peeks at it, and keeps it face down in front of them. The patsy flips the second card from the looking for deck face up in front of them, and explains how it relates to their character and why it's important to them. The catfish should not only fully integrate their new claim and hobby card into their previous story, but use all of their cards together to make their case for why they're simply irresistible, and match exactly what the patsy is looking for. During the main course, the patsy should double down on grilling and questioning the catfish until they're satisfied. They'll once again have a chance to not only follow up on any interesting or strange tidbits that stood out from each catfish's story. As a general rule of thumb, the patsy shouldn't let any particular catfish monopolize the conversation. They're free to cut them off whenever they want, or if they're rambling too much. Ultimately, it's the patsy's job to determine how much each catfish should speak. The catfish should use their sabotage card when it feels right. At any point during the main course, a catfish may interrupt another catfish to reveal their sabotage card in order to derail them. When the patsy is satisfied grilling the catfish, they should once again hand out appeal points, the nightcap. The time for each catfish to reveal the truth has come. During this stage, each catfish will come clean about their ulterior motive. Before the catfish reveal the truth, the patsy will have a chance to ask any final burning questions they may have. They'll also have a chance to personally tell each catfish what they liked and disliked about them. After the patsy addresses a catfish, that catfish will have one last shot to really summarize why they are a good match for the patsy. When the patsy is done with their round of questions and compliments, each catfish must take turns revealing their ulterior motive. In a heartfelt monologue, they must come clean about their true intentions, and also drive home why they feel they should win despite their true motive. The patsy has a chance to ask any follow-up questions about the veracity of their story, and why they lied in the first place. When the patsy is satisfied with each monologue, they will hand out one last round of appeal points. The decision. Each catfish adds up their appeal points. Whomever has the most is the winner of the game. The remaining cons are outed as filthy, stinking catfish. In the event of a tie, the contending catfish must engage in an epic showdown. The patsy will ask them rapid-fire questions from the prompt pamphlet until they've come to a decision, or until a catfish taps out. The patsy may choose to reward the victorious catfish with a symbolic prize that they feel is fitting. The winning catfish is free to make a rousing acceptance speech. And there you have it. That's how you play catfish.